I wanted to start off and ask you, and this is, it's, I swear this is actually just coincidence. My, my wife and I are watching uh, Westworld season two uh, for the first <laughs> time. And as we were watching it, I was watching it last night and I noticed how in Westworld and in Reminiscence, there are kind of similar themes in the idea of memory and the idea of the past and nostalgia having a hold over people. Um, I'm just wondering, I mean, was Westworld on your mind when you were writing and directing this? I think of them as very different, although I did write them at a very similar time. I, I wrote them actually at exactly the same time. I was pregnant with my daughter and that was when I was writing the pilot of Westworld. And I was also writing Reminiscence at that time. So wow. I've always had an abiding preoccupation with the themes of memory and the passage of time and the way it relates to personal identity and the narratives that we tell ourselves about ourselves and the world we live in. So it's definitely a theme that I think permeates a lot of my work. Do you find, I mean, because in, in speaking in that, like, I mean, you do see that, you know, the, the idea of the mystery play, the, the, I suppose the genre mystery um, is a big thing in reminiscence. In your future films, do you, th I mean, you've said that's a preoccupation. I mean, could you see that applying to say like a drama or a romance or something like that? Or do you think you'll kind of stay in sci-fi mystery kind of mode? Oh, well, you know, I, I'm not sure. In, in some ways, I don't really think in genre. In, in some ways, I'm still surprised to find myself a science fiction <laughs> writer. Yeah. And it wasn't, I didn't know that that was my intent. I started writing about pie makers in a fantasy world on pushing daisies and before pushing daisies, that yeah. yeah and before that uh i was mostly just writing poetry honestly so i i think that you know i i gravitated or found myself in science fiction because it's a way of describing the human condition through metaphor and mythology you know and yeah. and that's what really interests me is is the human psyche uh, so I, I guess I wouldn't say no to a plain drama or I suppose I'm not sure I'd be good at a rom-com, but my mother is very keen that I try it out. So we'll see. <laughs> why, why a rom-com? Like, is it just, that's a bit like. I know, I know. I it's just, she just thinks it's kind of more proper for me. She doesn't understand. I mean, they, she was quite scandalized by a few scenes in Westworld, let me tell you. She's, you know, yeah. uh, a modest Asian lady who's like, what the hell did I do wrong with you to <laughs> get such a twist in mind? So I guess I owe her a rom-com down the line at some point. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, actually, on, actually, on that, I mean, were there any, I mean, you could definitely see like a, a noir kind of influence in this. I mean, were there any movies you were watching during pre-production that might have given you something in terms of either visual or in the, in the story oh yeah no absolutely i i mean in terms of touch points for me out of the past as noir is huge um vertigo as an examination of the limitations of the uh, male gaze i suppose is another one uh i love the works of tarkovsky i love how he uses these beautiful images um and with or without narration, they speak worlds. And so even though this is a more commercial kind of thriller, I wanted to embed time for a couple images like that with, with my incredible DP, Paul Cameron. But aside from that, uh, you know, a lot of uh, Gerhard Richter's artwork was an influence. You know, the paintings that he does where he kind of smears the faces and portraits that he does. To me, those appear to be as though looking at a face through time and the way that memory obfuscates the details of a person. And so those were all touch points along with some poetry that I would send to my crew and cast to uh, get us in the mood. Cool. Yeah, that's 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 really poetry is interesting as a choice. I think just I mean, you wouldn't think of it normally like as a kind of an influence for actors or for a crew or whatever. Yeah, I mean, poetry and music, you know, I, I gave all of our actors a, a record player and a record that I had burned with a bunch of songs that inspired me for for it. And I think tone is so important, you know, and we're all different people, but I think making a film is sort of like dancing, doing a dance together. And we all have to set the tonal metronome to something. So I try to do it in a way askance by sending them the same creative influences that I've been digesting. 
Cool. That's great. Sorry, I got the wrap there like right before that question. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Was he running from the past? Or racing back towards it? How much did you really know her? How much did you love her? Who was she? Who was she when not with me? You think you want answers? Well, you don't. Where is she? Where is she? Larson, bribery, murder. People love their secrets. Don't go down this path. Stay here, in this life. Turn the blind eye to plenty. I have to do this. That machine of yours, how close can you get before the illusion's broken? You're going on a journey. All you have to do is follow my voice.